Michael McKean and David Lander. Talk about how they went from being writers to being actors on the show. Oh, they, by writing themselves into the script <laughs> from the beginning and being hilarious. And we said, you know, why are we not having them every week on stage, you know? So they, you know, and we hired them as writers. When the show sold, Penny had a party at her house, which eventually became my house because I bought it from her and Rob. She was married to Rob Reiner at the time. And she threw this party specifically to get uh, the guys who played Lenny and Squiggy to get up and do an act that they did in clubs. They were called Lenny and Anthony. And they were there, I mean, Gary wasn't there, but Lowell and I were there. And they got up and they did 15 minutes of the funniest stuff you've ever seen. As Lenny and Anthony, who were essentially Lenny and Squiggy. Um, and the only drawback was it was utterly filthy. Filthy. I mean, just, you could not imagine how filthy it was. And the filthier it was, the funnier it was. And Lola and I looked at each other and we said, what do you think? You think it works clean? I think he said that to me. And I said to him, if it's a fifth as funny, clean, as it is this way, it's still funnier than anything else on TV. And so we put them on, they did it clean, and it was about a fifth as funny as it, it was at uh, Penny's house, and it was still funnier than anything else on TV. There were people who just loved, I mean, didn't particularly like the show, but loved Lenny and Squiggy. Alan Arkin used to come to filmings because he was just the biggest Lenny and Squiggy fan, you can imagine. So uh, that's how that happened.